Hello everyone, IceCoolTech here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone 7 is handling the latest beta of iOS 13, iOS 13.5 Beta 3. And before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications to turn on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from IceCoolTech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. If you didn't already know, I have started Twitter where you can follow me using the link in the description down below. Timestamps are also in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. iOS 13.4.5 Beta 1 released several weeks ago to register developers, bringing some new bug fixes, security improvements, and general optimizations. About a few weeks ago, iOS 13.4.5 Beta 2 released bringing even more bug fixes and most likely some more security patches. Let me know in the comments below if you use an iPhone 7 and what iOS version you're running. Now early last week, Apple released what was expected to be iOS 13.4.5 Beta 3, which ended up being renamed to iOS 13.5. iOS 13.5 Beta 3 bought more bug fixes and security optimizations as well as the first iteration of Apple and Google's COVID-19 Exposure Notification API. With that said, let's get straight into general performance. Just like with the iPhone SE, there has been no noticeable increase or decrease in performance. Apps open just as fast, web pages load very quickly, playing games and watching YouTube etc all run just fine. I have not had any issues personally with RAM management on my iPhone 7, however some iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users are reporting that they are experiencing frequent reloads. Just like with performance, animation speeds have also been just as smooth as before. Animations such as opening up the control notification centers, swiping through the home screens, scrolling through web pages, etc. are all perfectly smooth. There is no stuttering or choppiness. Now I have not noticed any missing unlock animations on my iPhone 7 while running iOS 13.5 Beta 3 yet. This is great to see. Now before we get into battery life, I'd like to mention that my iPhone 7 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 94% and has never had a restart. This means that my iPhone is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life or prevent restarts. I should also mention that I will be comparing iOS 13.5 Beta 3 to iOS 13 in general, as the iPhone 7 is still having major problems in battery drain to overheating, which is affecting many iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus users. I have asked some people I know who use iPhone 7s and are on iOS 13.5 Beta 3 what their experience has been with battery life, and they have also noticed a significant improvement. You can definitely pull off a full day with light use while on Beta 3. If you're a medium user, you could also manage a full day, but naturally you will end off with less battery. I'd even recommend keeping a spare charger with you as you may need to charge the iPhone once or twice throughout the day. Now if you're a heavy user, I highly advise keeping an extra charger with you or using a battery case as you'll most likely need to charge the iPhone multiple times throughout the day. When it comes to standby time, you should also see a very slight improvement iOS 13.5 Beta 3 only has a drain of about 2-3% overnight in my experience, which is about 1% better than 13.4.5 Beta 2. Should you update? Well, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing beta firmware, I'd say go for it. If you want to update but would rather avoid betas, then I'd say wait a week after the full release. I say a week so it gives you time to see if any major bugs are reported. If you're on iOS 12 or earlier, I'd suggest waiting until the overheating and drain issues are truly fixed iOS 13.5 Beta 3 has held up fairly well on the iPhone 7, and I hope it stays this way and fixes drain as well as the overheating. I'll of course update you all if I notice any major issues with this iOS version on the iPhone 7. Now I'll also have a watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 3 full review on the Apple Watch Series 1 coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, and due to a popular vote on my community poll regarding an iPhone 7 battery drain test with all settings enabled versus all settings disabled, I will have that comparison up sometime next week. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the Ice Cool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching I'll see you in the next one.